Hi, good morning friends and good evening. My name is Vivek and today I am going to demonstrate you uh, for NSX environment and uh, I'll show you some of the components, how does it work and, uh, and vSphere also. So let's get started now. So what I'm planning that uh, let me introduce all these steps first. This is a home and networking. Under home, you can see that this uh, dashboard of the NSX and uh, overview alarm and monitoring dashboards. And under dashboards, you can see networking, inventory, security, and system. These are the things which you can see on the dashboard. And if you wanted to get documentation, you can click here and download that. And under networking, you have many of the features available under security and the security you have a uh, distributed firewall dis uh, ips and I, uh, ids and ips networking introspections and gateway firewall url analysis and network inspections and uh, many other things are as uh, aspects of uh, security and uh, in the inventory you can see how many virtual machines and context pro con uh, context profile and groups and services what are the running and how many machines has been text, uh, tags so this is the plan and troubleshoot in this uh, section you can check all your um, I mean trace flow and uh, how it is uh, my data is flowing to the other virtual machines and um, many other things port monitoring and many other things as well and uh, man, and the other tips you can follow and look look into the environment once you get login into this uh, NSX team manager and this is a system and what I am planning that uh, I wanted to I have some this is a uh, NSX manager 01 uh, 01a and uh, this is the this is the V center uh, that is also VCSA 01a that is the same ESXi host uh, running these are the ESXi host same ESXi host also running into the NSX uh, manager and those uh, host have been added to the NSX manager now so what I'm planning that uh, those are the host which is uh, let me click on the to find out the host you click on the system and go to the fabric under fabric there's a notes option and uh, the moment you log in uh, you come to the profile you will see the standalone host so in, there is no standalone host we are going to fetch all the hosts through the vCenter and uh, let me select vCenter this time so you can see all the hosts available host which are part of the NSX uh, sorry which are the part of the vCenter so these four these are the th these are the four hosts which is there already and uh, now one ESXi host is also a part of NSX. Now you can see that NSX configuration has already been done. So what is the NSX configuration? The NSX configuration is something like a, there's a services which we usually installed into the ESXi host. So our NSX uh, environment can able to play and uh, do the configuration on the ESXi host on the basis of NSX environment, I mean NSX services. So this is the component let's say for example if I have a host ESXi host and I made a part of that vCenter environment and that does not have much of the things installed it just only the fresh ESXi host even though it does not have a virtual machine let's say for example you create a virtual machine but that that ESXi host could not be managed by the NSX environment so to manage by the NSX environment those that host particular host we need to install VIPs so those VIPs need to be installed. VIPs is all about the services. Like for example, let me tell you what is the VIPs. Um, in NSX Data Center for vSphere, uh, there's a module, kernel module. It's a package. It's a package. Uh, it's called a VIP files that runs within a hypervisor kernel. So when you're going to install that uh, VIPs into the hypervisor, that VIPs going to be installed and going to be communicate to the uh, kernel port, kernel modules with a with a with a, with a hypervisor and it's it's it provides the services it provides the services to the distributed router and distributed firewall and vxlan bridging capabilities so these are the topics i am going to cover soon in next videos so just think about that there's a services which is going to be installed onto the esxi host nsx services and then we can 
if the if those services uh, uh, our SXI host have, then we can we can play some of the uh, some of the roles and uh, let's say for example edge node trans uh, edge node and uh, they are the vxlan capabilities and uh, cluster bases ncp and uh, many other things are there so we can we have to create a transport zone and compute many many other facilities are there so what i'm going to do uh, i have a uh, I have four ESXi hosts available in the vCenter and uh, three of them, three of the hosts are part of now NSS configuration. So that means ESXi server, these ESXi server, uh, we have installed VIPs already into this ESXi host. Now, the only one host is remaining that is ESXi 04a corp.local. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to push VIPs or NSX configuration into this ESXi host, ESXi host. Then this host will be part of NSX and then we can we can, we can can play with, with the NSX services into this ESXi host. Let me, uh, I already have selected, this is the highlighted one and ESXi 4, I'll go to the configure NSX option and the host name is already will populated and um, you don't need to do you don't you don't need to type anything there just click on next and if you wanted to give some description you can give there uh, unless it's, it's okay that you don't need to specify much of the details it's okay now there's a two type of uh, switch available into the vm sorry nsx there's a the nvds there's a in older version of uh, NSX, uh, let's say for example, no, not older version of NSX, older version of uh, vSphere, let's say for example 6.7, that time we usually work on the NVDS. So now since NSX, so, so since um, uh, vCenter 7 version came, then we, we have a capabilities, we have options, so we can use our traditional vCenter uh, VDS virtual distributed switch so by default when I click on uh, I mean when I, when I try to add this host uh, in, of, I mean I, if I'm installing the evips by default it chose the VDS so if if your vCenter is the older environment then you have to select NVDS otherwise VDS is good to go so I'm not I'm not going to choose this time NVDS. I will go to the default settings and I will scroll down this bar and I have to specify our distributed um, vCenter. So uh, I just specify the name which is already by default and I have to specify transport zone. I'll select this time VLAN transport zone and I'll scroll down this bar a little bit down and I have to choose uh, which uplink profile I wanted to go for so this time uh, I look for uplink profile edge uplink profile and I have to go down and now I have to select what uplink we are going to what what uh, I mean uh, what uplink you are going to provide for the teaming policy for 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 mapping so this time i'm going to select the first one uplink first and this is all if you have if you wanted to go for the another one you can select otherwise i am good to go with the one so let me click on finish and it has been started a host preparation now so this time it is at zero percent let me expand this and now you can see that uh, the installation is begin and now it is at 18% and once it is 18% 18 reach uh, the next uh, switch will be at 48% I guess and then after 48% it will be completed so it will take some of time not uh, immediately so just stay with me and uh, yeah I'll wait and uh, wait for the 100% and then We'll go and we'll go further. Okay, so when we are talk, when we are uh, demonstrating this, uh, I'll I'll explain you that this is the host transport zone, and uh, there's other option also available. 
edge transport zone and edge cluster ESXi bridge cluster and NCP cluster also so they are the other part also so we can play with all the services later once uh, we complete this video and we I'll, I'm going to create some more videos so you will be familiar with this uh, NSX environment and uh, yeah so it hasn't reached to the I mean it is not going beyond to 18% still working let me click on refresh yeah it will take some of time so we should wait okay yeah so mm -hmm. yeah this is a this is a new in I mean uh, previously we had uh, uh, we NSX V and now it, this is the NSX T environment. This is a and this is the latest environment, I guess. So now you can see that uh, um, the percentage has been raised to 48%, which I have already promised. This is the next uh, attempt will go at 48%. And now let me expand a little bit more. Let me see what is written there. Uh, it says that 48 person waiting for connection to manager so now what is happening in the background our ESXi host is trying to talk with the NSX manager once there's a shake hand in between now and the VIPs will get installed so it will be then 100 percent and it will sh show you success that means all the VIPs have been installed into the ESXi host so we should wait for some time and then and we'll finally look success under the net NSX configuration so the current version of the NSX we are running 3.1 to 3.1.2 and yeah it is still taking time uh, I think I should wait for a hundred percent or I think uh, I should pause this video once it is complete I'll continue from there but I guess I, th I should I should I should wait for one minute more let's say it should complete in next uh, 40 minutes sorry 40 seconds my bad yeah it is reaching at 68 percent now now it is it is going to connect with the NSX switch configuration so now it is going to be completed now you can see that uh, our ESXi host 04a corp.local it has been I mean all the VIPs all the network I mean NSX configuration file has have been installed into the ESXi host and I'll, I'll, I'll close this video now and then into the another video I will I'll show you what are the VIPs and what are the configuration and what what are the files of the VIPs have been uh, installed so we'll wait for the next video and this time I'm going to uh, stop this video and friends if you like my video please click on like and subscribe my video subscribe my channel for more videos thank you very much have a nice day bye bye